gonna jump right into this video. As you can tell by the title, we're doing Halo Top Taste Test Review. So this is pumpkin pie. I think I did a taste test on the pumpkin pie already, but this is the dairy free um, pumpkin pie. And it says seasonal flavor on it, so I'm sure it's gonna be gone soon. And then the peaches and cream. I think I tried to do this one. Like I think I purchased it and then I think I never ate it. I'm not really sure what happened. I've definitely never tried it though, or maybe Chris ate it. That actually might be what happened, but we're just gonna jump right on into it because I want this to be just a short and sweet video. So I haven't even opened it. it says I'm cold, let's spoon. <laughs> kind of funny, not gonna lie. So if you have not had a Halo Top uh, ice cream before, just keep in mind that you should let them sit out for like five to 10 minutes. I don't know what the container actually says. Um, it just says, give me a couple of minutes. So you want it to really soften up. I don't know. You guys can't really see in this lighting. That's, that's what she looks like. <laughs> And it's pretty soft. I should have stayed up here. So, pretty soft. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, no. So, I gotta get this off my spoon before I try the peaches and cream. That's how you, you know it's really bad. Um, the initial taste, like when you first put it in your mouth, it tasted good, tastes like cinnamon, but it just kind of, oh no, tastes like Play-Doh to me. Um, I think I liked the pumpkin pie when I tried it last year, but it wasn't the dairy-free, so I don't know if it's something in here that well obviously there's no cow's milk in it it's made with coconut milk so maybe maybe i don't like i don't know coconut milk but it tastes like play-doh if you're vegan and you really love coconut milk then maybe try this anyway and you might like it i don't like coconut water or anything so that really could be why i don't like this but the only way i can describe it is play-doh um and everybody's tried Played over before, right? It's not just me, because I definitely did as a kid. So we're gonna move on to peaches and cream, because that was a big fat fail. And again, not open, so the same thing. Let's spoon. She looks just what you would expect it to look like. So she's like a lighter orange. Let's see if she's just as creamy. Oh, she is. I don't think you guys can really see that because of the lighting, but she's very creamy or easy to get my spoon into, but she's kind of, I don't know why I keep calling her she. I think I've been watching too much Shane Dawson. <laughs> um, it's kind of icy, but I don't think that that's Halo Top's fault. This might be the grocery store's fault, like almost like when ice cream melts and then refreezes, so yum. Um, better than the dairy-free pumpkin pie, but I still am not crazy about it. Mm. It says peaches, like they use real peaches, but it doesn't taste like that to me for some reason. It tastes artificial. Mmm. Yeah, I don't like it, but I don't hate it like the pumpkin pie one. <laughs> um, mm. I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to like this one, peaches and cream. Um, I couldn't eat a whole pint. Honestly, I probably won't even reach for this again in the freezer. Maybe that's what happened last time. Maybe I bought it. I did try it. And then I just left it there and Chris finished it. But I'm gonna tell him he can finish 
both of these if he wants i don't want to waste anything but this one is the pumpkin is just so bad you guys uh <laughs> yeah i mean i kind of feel bad because they were both a fail for me if you love peach and you love coconut milk try these both out anyway i typically love halo top i don't think i've tried one on this channel yet that i didn't like so i'm a little sad especially because these are so expensive but if you have a favorite flavor please let me know in the comments below and if i haven't tried it i will definitely give it a little taste test and review thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one